Hey there, everybody. Jason here, all dressed up and ready to beach. That means I'm here to talk about Barbie, the new movie directed by Greta Gerwig, starring Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and a host of others. But before I get started, as always, I will be talking spoilers. So if you don't want the movie ruined for you, stop the video, head out to the theater, check it out, then come on back and we can talk about it. Also, a bit of word of caution for those parents of young children wanting to take their kids to go see this movie. I would probably recommend leaving them at home. I would say it's more suited for audiences 12 and older. But now that I'm past all that, let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? From the time I saw the first teaser trailer for this movie to right up until I saw the film, I was really excited. My expectations were really high. I never thought that I would be super excited to see a Barbie movie, but I was. And not only were my expectations met, but they were also exceeded in a lot of ways I expected and a lot of ways I didn't expect. A lot of times before I go see a movie, I like to watch some of the other reviewers just to see what everybody's saying about it. And one common phrase I saw among male reviewers was, this movie wasn't made for me. Now, not every movie is made for everyone. Film is subjective. So some people like it, some people don't. So, I mean, yeah, that statement is pretty obvious. But when it comes to a movie like this, you can tell what that statement is saying is, I'm very set in my ways, I'm very closed-minded, and the message wasn't designed for me, which I think is kind of silly, and it really kind of shuts down conversation. Yes, this movie has some very heavy feminist overtones, but I feel like some of the other messaging, the main messaging of the movie, really was for everybody. It's really a movie about growing up, about change, and embracing that change and facing that change head on instead of going back and ignoring it and pretending like it never happened. Now, the cast is incredible. Margot Robbie really shines as the film's lead stereotypical Barbie. Ryan Gosling is amazing as Ken. He is born to play this role. He steals every scene that he's in. I genuinely laughed out loud at several moments, specifically the power ballad that he sings called I'm Just Ken. I have actually had that song stuck in my head since I saw the film. The rest of the cast is just amazing. A few standouts for me were, of course, America Ferreira, who really, really delivers quite a powerful performance as one of the main human protagonists in this movie. Michael Sarah is perfectly cast as Alan. He was both confident and awkward in only the way that Michael Sarah can be. Then, of course, you have Kate McKinnon, who plays Weird Barbie, who is also just perfectly cast in that role. I mean, Kate McKinnon, it's pretty obvious once you see it. The direction this movie takes is also pretty satisfying. In the hands of a lesser director, probably 20, 30 years ago, it could have just been some consumer propaganda to get more people to buy more products. But in Greta Gerwig's hands, its messaging is strong and powerful and very moving. I was genuinely brought to tears with a few moments in the film, and I honestly think it is one of my favorite movies of 2023 so far. Now, of course, as with any comedy, some of the jokes don't exactly land it's very hit and miss and there's this whole thing with will ferrell and the board of mattel that kind of feels a little shoehorned in specifically because they dip in and out of the film almost like it feels like oh hey we totally forgot about these guys don't forget these guys are in the movie too and i love will ferrell but i just feel like he's really only necessary in maybe two or three scenes beyond that i just feel like it was just totally shoehorned in but those are really just a couple of the smallest gripes I have with this movie. It didn't take me out of it. It didn't ruin my enjoyment. I absolutely loved the movie. The soundtrack is incredible. Some of the artists they got to do songs for this movie, like Lizzo and Billie Eilish, just to name a few. It was really, really great and really helped drive the movie. 
overall, I had a really good time with this movie. It's visually striking. The messaging really hits home. It's really, really good. It's really, really solid. And I would give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought of Barbie down in the comments. What did you like? What didn't you like about it? I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button. You want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get updates on all my future videos. You can also follow my social media pages. Links are down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.